Hello once again Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Mechanics. Welcome back to another figure unboxing series. There's only this one and one more to go, so don't worry. We'll get back to cars pretty soon. Anyway, this set is one of the two that are very special to me because my dad, before he passed away, was big on building fire engines, model, models of fire engines, stuff that he converted and all the rest. Now, if you want to check out that video, I'll show you that at the end of this one. Anyway, the one thing he was missing from his fire trucks were these firemen. And before he passed away, I was trying to get these models for him to see if he could put them in his fire trucks. And unfortunately, he passed away before I could actually get up enough money to get these. But what these guys are, are the American Fire Truck Crew from 1910. These are meant for the ICM 124 scale Model T fire truck. This is just the guys on their own. So what we're going to do is Danny the dog and I are going to unbox this and show you the models inside. So if that sounds really cool, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this channel with all our friends and family and pound that notification bell because every time I make a new video, you can be the first one to see it. So without further delay, let's take a look at what's in the box. Here we have the American Fire Truck Crew from 1910 from ICM in 124 scale. And again, like I was saying, I bought this as a uh, model for my dad. But unfortunately, he passed away. So now this becomes a tribute model. And I want to uh, put this in the Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Museum one day. The Model Car Museum that I want to plan out. And as again, as a tribute to my dad. So I got these because these guys are sitting in an actual car. And I hope that I can use this on my dad's Mack fire truck. So anyway, again, wonderful artwork here. You can see the fireman pointing the way for the uh, guy to drive and all the rest. So let's take a look at the side of the box. Here on the side of the box, we can see our fireman. Again, this guy would be on the running boards pointing the way. And there's a sort of three quarter front side profile of him. And then we also get the driver and how he would sit into the seats. Onto this side of the box, we see the ICM logo. 124 scale. This is for ages 14 up. You will need glue and cement in order to put it together. So now let's open up the box and remove the lid. And like I was saying in the other videos, ICM just makes this nice printed top. But the rest of the actual box is a really wonderful looking, sort of like an envelope type box with the flap in the front. So all you need to do is open that. Now, you did see all the tape underneath here. I should mention this. It's taped in six point or five points. So you will have to cut through that to remove the top. But anyway, as we open this up, you can see the wonderful instructions, which Danny the dog will go over in a minute, as well as the plastic part screw that contains all the fireman pieces. Hello, everybody. This is Danny the dog, and if I was a Dalmatian, I would be following these fire trucks every day. But uh, I'm not that kind of dog. i actually a different breed. I'm not sure what that is. But anyway, so what we have here is the 1910 American Fire Truck Crew. And uh, Trevor's going to build these up in homage to his father and try to put them into some of his father's fire trucks, which I think would be really, really cool. A really great tribute. If you want to help him out, don't forget to join this channel because when you join the channel, you actually pay a membership fee and that membership fee will go into the Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Museum, which will showcase Trevor's models as well as his dad's in some really cool dioramas. So I'm going to grab the pointer stick and then we can follow along. Okay, so what we have here is the fireman's hat, as well as the badge that goes on the hat, and a little detail there. We've got the legs and the face, and then this is a guy that I believe is sitting down. So you've got his hands on the steering wheel, his back, and then the long coat back here. I guess that's the front. I don't know. I'm just a dog. So there's the hands there, and the other hand, or something. Okay. Anyway, Trevor will show you that on the plastic parts. So then we've got the... Oh, this is really odd. This is... Huh, I'm not sure what I'm seeing here. This One guy's on the running boards, the other guy's sitting down. Anyway, so this looks like the guy's sitting down, because the legs are kind of bent there. Maybe it's like crossed over? I don't know. 
the turret will figure that out when he builds it. <laughs> so there's the other helmet, the other head, and the bent legs for sitting down. To be... Yeah, really weird. Okay, so we've got the Revell paint colors here, and the callouts for on the back, and the Tamiya code, and of course the Ukrainian language here, and then our English here for the paint colors, semi-gloss black, brown leather, flat red, bronze steel, and flat flesh. So again, these will build up really, really nicely. Now, let's turn this over and see the other side. So here we have our fireman here, and as you can see, this is the man here on the running boards. So he's pointing the way for the guy that's sitting right here, who is the driver. So again, really excellent work. You can see the brown pants and gray, or I guess it's supposed to be black jackets that they wore. They have the New York Fire Department logo on the badge there for the helmet, but I do believe you can paint that any way you want. Again, really, really cool models, and I can't wait to see in a future video how Trevor builds and paints these guys. Yeah, Danny, it will be cool to make these guys up, but you know, I've been finding on the internet that uh, usually when you try to research stuff like this, you really can't find much on it. <laughs> and you think with the World Wide Web being full of info, you'd find everything on this, but at any rate. So here we have the fireman's helmets. And these are nicely done. They've got the correct ribbing in here. These were sort of like a hard hat as well as to catch sparks. And the long tails in the back made it so it wouldn't go down the back of your neck, the sparks and flames. Again, we've got the faces here. Now this is from a time period actually before the uh, firemen had the gas, or not the gas masks, but like the respirators. And uh, it's interesting, I know in our modern world all this stuff seems really significant but the person that actually made up the fire apparatus like the breathing tanks was an african-american guy so again really cool history into firemen and fire apparatus and again we've got the jackets with the belt buckles in here yeah this is really uh, kind of odd like danny was saying you there's these guys are sort of like split all over because this is obviously the guy that's sitting down, because if you look at the body from the side view, you can see the curve as he's leaning forward in the car seat. And yet, these legs are kind of straight for, for the guy on the running boards, which would be this body. So, I'm not really sure. I guess I'll have to clip these out and actually position them and glue them to find out which legs are what. Now Danny was pointing out all these funny little parts here, so I'm just trying to see what they are. So again, you get the badge for the helmets, which is there and there. That is a hand, which would go on here. And then you got the outstretched hand for the guy pointing. And there's the driver's hands. Again, I think what would best be best done is to dry fit all this. Don't glue anything together until you're absolutely sure what's supposed to be going together. Uh, there are numbers on here, so maybe the instruction sheet will give you a little bit of a heads up. We're, we weren't really paying attention to that, but uh, actually what I'll do is I'll put these parts down, because you can see just how great they are again. I'll put these down, I'll just take a quick look again at the instruction sheet and see what we missed. All right, so here's a zoom in of that side bit of the guy that's pointing. And you can see leg number four and leg number 11 go together. So if we just take our parts tree here. Now let's see, there's the numbers. So we have, huh, now that's really odd because the legs don't show a number thing unless it's like, okay, that's really weird. <laughs> I don't know which one is 4 and which one's 11, because the little tag there is not... Oh, I see, 4. There's 4 right... Okay, got to take this down a little bit. Now let's take this out. So 4 and 11 go together. So there's leg 4, and here's leg 11 way over here. So that is a stand-up guy, a standing guy. Now the body here says it's 19, so there's 20. Oh, sorry, that's 21. 20, 16, uh, oh yeah, 16, 
Okay, so anyway, I guess I'll have to figure that out. But actually, so getting back to the instructions, so there's a 4, an 11, a 6, a 12, a 10, and an 8. So those are the numbers that correspond with the gray plastic here. So that'll help you in guiding you in putting the model together. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that look at ICM's American Fire Truck Crew from 1910. Now, like I was saying, I would really love to put these in my dad's model fire trucks, and I also want to build a museum that not only showcases my models, but also the ones of my dad's, and that would include all the fire trucks. So if that sounds interesting to you, please become a member of this channel, and your membership will help to grow that Monster Hobbies model car museum idea. Now, I was going to show you my dad's fire truck video, so that's this one here. And again, if you like it, please let us know in the comments over there. So until next time, everybody, happy model building, and we'll see you in the next video.